what's up guys welcome back to the shop Ooh, stepping on some wood um really gloomy day it's just uh it's raining you hear the birds chirping so on today's agenda we are going to be taking apart those two diffs that you guys saw in the last videos as um well rear ends i'll be taking off the rims i'll be taking off the brake lines the cow tracks the leaf springs uh so a customer can come pick those up tomorrow i'm gonna show you guys me taking i will do a time lapse of me taking that apart and i'll take you along with that i'll probably do both of them but in the meantime i gotta go grab the tool so i can take this apart you'll see me doing that right now All right, guys, uh, as you can see, all the junk that's on the floor, I got most of it done. Andy helped for just a wee little bit because that's what he does. But um, <laughs> so apparently he's going to come walk in here and act like he did some work. You see how my hands are black and greasy? <laughs> all right, guys, now that that's done, I'm probably going to disassemble that one because that one also needs to go to a customer as well. Um, I don't think I need a time lapse, two rears. So I'll get back to you in a little bit. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so... I finished taking the first diff apart, which is right there. And I finished taking the other one that's right there. And <laughs> uh, now we're going to take the, uh, since that's done, we have a customer's truck to work on outside. We'll bring that in a little bit. But right now our priority is going to change to the Viper. We already loosened a few, a few things up. We're going to take the hood off uh, and a lot of the part of the accessories under the hood, uh, bell housing bolts and the exhaust. And we should be able to, start pulling this motor out uh seems to be a lot easier than the srt10 ram trucks so uh yeah send us all your vipers but uh, i'm gonna set up a time lapse of us uh taking off the hood and lifting up the car and uh playing around with uh underneath the skid the skid plate is already removed so we'll get there All right guys, now I'm back. Uh, we dropped the car as you saw. I'm back here with Andy. Andy's gonna let you know about what we took off the car and you know, in order for us to prepare to lift the engine out so we can put that guy in there. Uh, that's gonna be fun. But yeah, so Andy's gonna get to it right now and let you know what we removed. How's it going? Obviously at the top here, you can see the air intake is all missing. Um, radiator hoses were taken off. The oil cooler lines were taken off power steering pump, uh, AC compressor. We just unbolted those and we're gonna leave those in there so that we don't have to remove the refrigerant or the power steering fluid. We won't have to bleed the system or recharge the air conditioning. It's all pretty simple. Uh, this is a lot easier to do than one of the truck ones. Um, throttle cable was removed as well. It's, it's just, a, it's, really, it's really pretty simple. And then down here, you do run into a little bit of a clearance issue when you are removing the engine. So you have to take the crank pulley off in chassis and that will give you the room to move it forward enough to get it away from the transmission and then be able to lift it up. But that's what we're going to do today. This bad boy is going to be out and on that stand and we're going to start swapping everything over. Yeah. So now that, now that you have it that Andy explained all that stuff in the super fashion that Andy does. And I'm <laughs> and he's out so yeah so i will set up the camera we'll do a time lapse of us hooking up the engine hoist and pulling the engine out all right guys so we actually removed the front bumper and the front crash support to make space so we can be extra careful with the with the engine hoist uh taking off the uh front bumper where there were two 10 millimeter bolts right here one up one down then there were four 15 millimeter bolts holding the support bar in and uh there were a bunch there were a bunch of eight millimeter bolts holding in the uh bumper to the crash support which i'll show you right here uh, so on the bumper right here and right here there were eight millimeter bolts that went there and eight millimeter bolts that went there 
and that's where the 10 millimeter bolts went. One went this way, one went that way, and that, and then there were a bunch of uh, one, two, three, six, eight millimeter bolts right along the top of the bumper, and that's how we got the bumper off and we got the crash support off so we can make uh, space to get the uh, engine hoist as close to the uh, chassis as the V10s are really recessed back. That's why the hoods are so long. But yeah, so now we'll be pulling out the engine. We have a bunch of room now to get closer, and uh, we'll put that on the time lapse now. Um, so yeah, we'll just do that, and I'll set you up in a bit. Hey guys, all right, so the engine is out. Sitting right here for now. Um, we're going to take off uh, all the parts that we need to take off from the fully forged engine and this engine and swap them apart so we can put that in. Um, we'll get into further detail on that. Uh, we're gonna call it a night tonight and we're gonna be working on that car tomorrow. We're also picking up something for the shop. Um, 